What up, YouTubers? Back at you again with another content. Um, today, we have a real special um, announcement to make. And I want to say thanks to all of my subscribers for making this thing happen. And if it wasn't for you guys, this guy wouldn't be here today. I'm touring the car today, and also he is a YouTube subscriber. He do have a hatchback with a K20, so far that I know, and we're gonna put it in a dyno right after this. This is the machine right there. Take the car right there, guys. A little bit to the left. Yeah, straight. Keep going. All right, guys, we got the car all strapped down, as you can see right here. He is on pump gas, uh, so we're gonna drain out the pump gas real quick. And you can see, they did a K-Series uh, stock. Um, so far, I know the thing has a 20 head, but a 24 bottom end. I think it's completely stock internals. As you can see, we've got a stock RS-15 manifold. So we're gonna drain the gas real quick and actually pull in some 85. All right, guys, you can tell we're draining the gas right now. And my boy right here, the guy's gonna drain the gas, put some 85 from where he's from. That way, we won't have any issue when you go back up north. All right, guys, we drain all the gas out of it now. And um, he's right here, putting in the gas right there. So now we're about to make a pump gas to 85 change. And we're gonna dial in the fuel pressure regulator real quick. And make sure everything is good. Like I said, this guy have just about everything on this car still. Like it does have AC. And you can see that the compressor still there. He just took off the line and the condenser he said. Uh, but you can see the AC line is still there. The heater is still there. You can see he's still got the heater tube right there that goes in the inside. It currently have almost every single stock piece. And guys, this guy drove a long way for me to tune this car. All right, like I said previously, I'm just gonna actually put you guys a quick time lapse that'll get everything settled in, and then we'll go get straight to it. Alright guys, I got the cruising all set up. I'm actually going to do the first pass real quick. And don't forget guys, I got the cam angle set at preset at 10 degrees for none VTEC and VTEC. So we're gonna see what the outcome it could be. Hopefully, I think it's a little on the rich side, but we'll see how much it makes and then we'll make a change from there.
Hi guys, you can see I did a pull. Um, the lead that came on there went running away. It was getting bling, so I had it off. And also we had a little problem with the TPS, so we're gonna figure that out real quick. And let's get back to it. Hi guys, as you can see, that pass, I went a little bit more, but um, this fuel was still running away a little bit. So, uh, bumped up the fuel pressure a little bit, because he does have a thousand injectors, and already, with running away fuel already, we already was at like 50% duty cycle. So I bumped up the fuel pressure a little bit, and he put a little bit more gas in the car, and hopefully this hit will be good, and then we got to start messing with the cam angle, and then start turning the boost up. So, let's get to it. Guys, all right, guys. As you can see, I just did that full pass. I went all the way to the rev limiter, and the wide band looking pretty good. It wasn't running away. It's actually almost pretty close. Just in the front half, the door rich. So I'm gonna take my fuel out from there. And don't forget, guys. This also is just a preset of 10 degrees of cam angle. If we ain't touched the cam angle yet. It just set at 10 degrees. So I'm getting the fuel lined up first. Like you would draw, you know, fuel, and then you can measure the cam angle as you go along. And it's only on 5.5 pounds of boots. So I'm gonna show you guys the graph right now. Here got a graph guys. 333 on 5.5 pounds. Um, so that's not a bad start. So we're gonna start messing with it a little bit more and let's go. Guys, as you can see, it made two horsepower less because I dropped VTEC a little lower. And you can see that dip right there, right here, which is not a big deal. I fixed that already, so now we're actually gonna um, uh, mess with some cam angle real quick. We're still at 10 degrees, I'm gonna put it at 20 and see what's the power curve from 20 degrees. As you can see, um, the previous pull had a dip, so now the red one is the one we just did, uh, and the dip is gone now, and that was 20 degrees of cam angle all around, and you can see we're starting to meet up already on the top end, so I already fixed that, that needed to be about like 10, 11 degrees, so we fixed that now, 
and we're gonna see what the power difference will be and may the line continue going up. Alright guys, that pull uh, made about the same power, uh, so now I'm going to turn the boost up and see how much you can make. Guys, that's uh eight pounds 352. Um, so we're gonna turn up a little bit more and see if we'll get these numbers together. As you can see, we did those cover pulls. Um, the cover pulls, like it was making like three, 360, 350, and now that's actually nine pounds. And it got super rich on the top, so it should make over 400 on the next pull. So, yes, guys, let's get to it. guys that's uh, 11 pounds 11 pounds of boost and that's a really good graph now now the squiggles is gone you can see the power is starting to flat line uh, everything is starting to look good you can see where VTEC comes on now I got everything dialed in now so I'm gonna add a little bit more boost and see if I go hit like 13 14 pounds and see what it makes we're almost about around a fuel already right here we are there 88 percent duty cycle and we have thousand cc injectors so we just about max on fuel. So I'm um, gonna try to see if we can get a little bit more out of it and we will be calling it done here.
Alright guys, as you guys see that pole, that was 13 pounds. Um, we definitely is out of fuel. We can't go anymore. The fuel is at 99% duty cycle. Cannot go anymore, but guys, check out that white band on the bottom. Look beautiful. Got this thing planted. So now that's dialed in. I just gotta do one more pull. This will go to the gear, shift to make sure it have no hiccups. And once that checked out, we'll be good. So let's get to that pull real quick, guys.